Deputy President William Ruto's allies have started massive stealth campaigns for his 2022 presidential bid, taking advantage of the fissures in the opposition and the perceived shifting of the ground following the truce between President Uru Kenyatta and Raylu Odinga. And from the South Rift to Western regions, they are trying to make inroads, taking advantage of those disgruntled by the handshake between the two leaders last month. In Western, where Mr. Odinga has enjoyed massive support since 2007, Mr. Ruto's local pushers campaigned for him during the Easter holidays, presenting him as a determined leader. Cabinet Secretaries Eugene Wamel with Evolution and Rashid Achesa Sports staged campaigns in Mumias on Sunday to win support for Mr. Ruto's 2022 State House bid. They were accompanied majority with Benjamin Washielli for a function at Chitoto Akin Mumias East constituency where they asked NASA co-principals Moses Watangulu and Mr. Musalia Mudavadi to look beyond Ford Kenya and Ank parties for the sake of the community's development. He is a seasoned, charismatic and intelligent politician who never throws his fists in the air Mr. Wamel was said. Political muscle Mr. Echesu argued that the Lahia community lacks a strong candidate to marshal the state house campaigns against seasoned politicians like Mr. Ruto. Let's stand with our brother Ruto and strategize to take over from him, Mr. Echesu said. Mr. Odinga's allies in the opposition, Mr. Mudavadi and Mr. Watangula, publicly voiced disapproval of the handshake, arguing they had not been consulted. And while Mr. Ruto publicly supported the gesture for dialogue, the behavior of his foot soldiers indicates his eyes are on 2022 presidency. Under the Jubilee Party deal, he is supposed to inherit President Uru Kenyatta's mantle. But Kenyan politics is often full of betrayal. Rift Valley on Wednesday, South Rift leaders described Mr. Ruto's 2022 presidential bid as unstoppable, removing doubts on the confusion the handshake created. Carico Governor Paul Chepkwini, Senator Aaron Cheruyat, Bumit Women Representative Joyce Correa and Bumit Central MP Ronald Tonui assured the DP that Rift Valley is behind him. There is no doubt that the DP will be the next head of state, Prof. Chetkwini said at Kiboibi, a Namoy sub-county, during the burial of DP Ruto's relative, Rachel Keeter, who is also the mother of National Transport and Safety Authority Director John Chircher. DP Ruto's wife Rachel, who also paid her last respect to M.S. Keeter and delivered a message of condolence from the DP, eulogized the late as good-hearted and caring. She avoided politics, though. The governor assured Mrs. Ruto that the people of Carico will fully support the DP in the presidential race in the next polls. Pledges Senator Cheruyat said the road for 2022 will be made smoother by better delivery on promises to the electorate, which he said is on course. What we are asking ourselves now is what can we do to change the lives of the voters? And when we get to 2022, we will have a platform, Mr. Cheruyat said. Speaking at a separate event in Bumit, Mrs. Correa said the Kalenjin community has only one kingpin, DP Ruto. We are set for 2022. We are telling Mr. Ruto not to bother about the Rift Valley. We will steer things here as you fight at the national level, said Mrs. Correa. Despite the early campaigns, political analyst Prof. Herman Manura argues that in politics, a day is a very long time and to this extent, we cannot rule out many formations, alliances, shifts, divorces and reunions on matters. Politics Prof. Manura opines that the political situation in 2022 will entirely depend on what Mr. Kenyatu and Mr. Odinga have have in mind, Ruto can move around the whole country, meet MPS from Western Coast and even Mount Kenya but if the two leaders Mr. Kenyatu and Mr. Odinga have something, 